Today we're going to be looking at the Kraken X53, which is a very popular AIO, but it also has a pretty well-known issue. This AIO has been known to have problems with the pump. So a lot of people are very weary of buying this AIO. So that is exactly why we are making this video today. So fun fact, I used to work at Micro Center in the service department, and I got to work with a lot of very smart people, people a lot smarter than myself. And they all told me, don't buy it. A lot of them bought this back when it was coming out and they assumed it would be a nice cooler, but the pump went out. I had a friend, if I recall correctly, he actually went through like two of these before he finally just gave up on it. So what did I do? I, I bought the Kraken X53 because I had an NZXT case and I just, I wanted everything to match. I will say this is a very beautiful AIO with basically the endless mirror and then customizable RGB. It's a gamer's dream. I think my dog is trying to come in here. Yeah. Cookie. Hey, come here. Hey. Yeah, she just had surgery, so she uh, she is the cone of shame. So let's go over the exact issue a little bit more in depth. Basically, you guys will hear this noise eventually come from the pump if your AIO is one of the defective units. The problem with this is if the pump goes out, this could lead to overheating of your processor, which can obviously damage the processor. Just to keep in mind, if you guys let your processor just work the way it does without a proper cooling device, it could literally just melt straight through your motherboard. It has happened, one of my friends. Personally, it has been working completely fine to cool my CPU in my tiny little case, but I have started to hear a little noise from the pump that wasn't there always. So I'm a little weary about this, but let me tell you why I still bought the NZXT cooler. So if you guys go to the NZXT website and you guys go and look at their warranties, you guys will notice this. Basically, their Kraken X series, which should fall under the cooler that I'm using, um, has a six year warranty, which is a lot. Hey, good. Most companies don't offer any warranty longer than a year, unless if you like pay for something extra. But for some reason, this company decided to give you a six year warranty. Most people aren't gonna keep a cooler for that long anyways. So if you guys buy it, you guys can just return it if it fails, but you guys just have to keep an eye out on it and make sure it's actually cooling your CPU. If you ever hear a, a sound that's just bad, then switch it out with another one. Cookie, hey. So my advice for those who wanna get this cooler because it looks cool, keep your other CPU cooler that came with your processor, just, just keep it just in case. Cause let me tell you why. Say it goes out, but you still need your computer because work, school, or gaming, the real reason, um, you're not gonna be able to use it without any sort of CPU cooler. So keep the stock one if your processor came with one, and then you guys could go through the refund process with NZXT. They will probably just send you another one or at least something that is equivalent to maybe a newer model that might not have the issue, but not all NZXT X53s have the issue. So if you have it several times in a row, it's just you're unlucky. But apparently I'm luckier than most because mine is still working fine and it has been probably over a year now. So I still have five years for the warranty on this thing. So if it goes out in another year, I'll just replace it. This is a beautiful cooler and I love the way it fit inside of my case. This is the case that I currently have in red. It was a tight fit, but it still is able to work out and it pairs very well with my case. I just, I love the way it looks and so far, I don't regret it. If you guys are interested in picking up one of these CPU coolers, I will have a link down below. And if you guys do have bad luck, let me know in the comment section down below so that other people can know a little bit more about this cooler and to see if it's worth it for them or not. So anyways, hopefully that helped. If you guys enjoyed this video or just found it helpful, make sure you guys slap a like down below and I'll see you guys on the next review.